Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. How's everyone doing tonight? I am going to give everyone a minute to hop on and I will find my comments here while we're doing that. Oh, there I am. Okay, we have our comments. There we go. Okay, as you're hopping on, if you could uh, please say hi in the comments and tell me where you're from. If you're watching live, welcome. If you're watching the replay, type hashtag replay and say hi. If you're watching us on YouTube, uh, if you could please hit the subscribe, like, and share button, along with Facebook as well, has the share button and the like button. And um, that is the absolute greatest compliment you can give us. We appreciate it very much. Um, <laughs> mind went blank there. I have Tuesday mind freeze. All right. Um, I am Barb with Farmland Designs, and I am an independent Chalk Couture designer. And really quickly, I want to tell you what Chalk Couture is. What is Chalk Couture? It is your one-stop shop for easy, high-end DIY home decor. We have a variety of tools to for you to create beautiful home decor. We have pastes and ink. Our pastes are semi-permanent and our inks are permanent. And they come in a variety of colors and can be used on a number of surfaces. Not only does Chalk Couture have a incredible variety of surfaces for you to purchase, um, you can use our products on any surface you would like. Uh, I can't think of one that you can't use it on. Um, maybe something you're going to eat off of. It's not food safe, so we'll call that the one thing you can't use it on, right? Um, also, Chalk Couture has an awesome business opportunity. If you'd like to... Uh, create pretty things and earn an income as well. We have that available. Uh, you can work completely from home, part-time or full-time, change your career, whatever fits your desire. We have a business in a box that is $99 plus tax and shipping that provides everything you need to start your own business. If you're interested in more information about this opportunity, please type team in the comments. And if maybe business isn't your thing, but you still want to get your chalk on every month, we have a subscription program called Club Couture. This is our March subscription exclusive transfer. It is exclusive and not available to, for retail. It is only available to our club members. And it is $19.99 a month plus tax with free shipping. You get an eight by 10 transfer with three coordinating chalk paste singles. If you watch my live from last night, I did the March transfer and showed you how beautiful it is. We used, um, can you see the color? There we go. We used uh, guava, tide, and sage. And those colors just absolutely looked awesome together. Okay, we're having trouble putting that back on the board. So I'm going to set it over there so it doesn't fall in the middle of our live. Um, and if you're interested in more information about Club Couture, please type in club in the comments and I will get that sent over to you. Okay. Hello, Diane, Stephanie, and Barb. Hi. How are you guys doing? Uh, Stephanie, I sent you some already. Should be getting them any day. All right. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm Barb with Farmland Designs, and I'm in Tempe, Arizona. I live very close to ASU. 
Um, and I like to always come live and tell you guys about our weather. Uh, hold on just a second. There we go. Whoops. Uh-oh. <clears throat> hold on a second. I lost my comments there. No problem, Stephanie. I understand. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, because the weather. I like to talk about the weather. Everyone across the world and some people in Arizona. I mean, I live in the Valley of the Sun, um, just outside of Phoenix. And today we were 81. Oh, wow. We were 81 today. I don't, Stephanie. Sorry. Um, yeah, we were 81. So we're already starting to head towards summer. I always talk about we're definitely in spring, but I think we're definitely heading towards summer. In March, on March 2nd, we're heading into summer. Okay. All right, so let's talk about the project we're doing today. This is called Pantries Open. It's absolutely adorable. And I'm actually, you know, I meant to take it out of the plastic because my lighting causes this glare with the plastic. And um, I'll message you, Stephanie, after my life. Um, and so I always mean to take it out of the plastic so you guys don't have to get blinded by that glare. Oh, Diane, I bet it was a beautiful day in Shello. We wish we were in St. John's. <laughs> okay, this is Pantries Open. So many uses. As you can see, these are cut lines. And so each of these individual pieces of this transfer can be used uh, in so many different ways. Um, this is a 12 by 18 to kind of give you an idea of the size. And today um, we are just going to use a few pieces. I know for sure I'm going to use this gorgeous fork and spoon. So let's get our stuff cut out. Our transfers are reusable. Uh, it is suggested eight to 10 times. We have used transfers many, many times more than that. Um, as they get older, they lose a bit of their stick, but they still work perfectly, even when they're not sticky. And the scissors I'm using, if you can see them, um, are Teflon coated chop couture scissors and they work perfectly with our transfer. Since the back has that adhesive lining on it, if you try to use regular scissors, you're going to have to clean them often from all the stickiness that gets stuck. Let's see here. Okay, bye Stephanie. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I might use these little leaves or maybe this little design. I'm not sure yet on that, but I'm going to set this aside until I decide. And that rhymed. Should we have a rhyming day? Uh, let me get my black marker so I can mark the my transfers. I mark them to help me put them back where they belong when I'm all done with them. Because as much as you think you know what goes where, when you're dealing with a whole bunch of pieces, it's not as easy as you think. Um, okay. So now let's talk about the surface we are going to be using. Um, as you're hopping on, if you could please say hi in the comments and tell us where you're from. I'm Barb with Farmland Designs, um, and today's surface is a handmade cutting board that my husband made for me um, by hand. <laughs> it is mahogany wood, so it is absolutely beautiful with a natural stain. 
Yeah, it's mahogany wood with a natural stain, and he actually does the cutting himself, um, meaning freehand, I think it's called. Yeah, he does the cutting freehand. Um, so every one of his pieces are unique, and we love them all. Since we are, thank you, Diane. Yeah, he does an awesome job with my, cre <laughs> my creations that I wish for. I give him a list and say, hey, I need this, and he goes out and makes it for me. So today we're going to be using um, <clears throat> wood, so we need to wax. Uh, Chalk Couture does have a surface wax, but you can use any type of wax. I got this at the local hardware store. Let me put that where you can see it. Um, this one actually smells pretty good. It's called Citrus Shield, but this one here has absolutely no, yeah, no smell and uh, no color. And it's very affordable. Wax is very expensive at the hardware store. Barb says you do awesome work and she says hi. I don't know what he's doing. I don't even know if he heard me. <laughs> he says hi back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what he was doing. He was typing. <laughs> All right, so we just wax our board. And what this does is it protects our transfer from those nasty little wood fibers. Um, that's all natural with the wood. Even if you sand it and seal it, uh, for the most part, you're still going to have those little natural fibers. And since our transfers are reusable, we want to keep them nice and sticky and free of debris. Ah, another rhyming. Should we play one of those games where you have to take a shot every time I rhyme? No, 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 we're not going to play that game. Um, after I wax, I take a clean towel and I buff, 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 because I have had the experience where I accidentally left a little blob of wax and it got stuck in my transfer and my design didn't come through, which because our paste is semi-permanent and our transfers are reusable, I could fix very easily, but we don't want to deal with that. Okay. There we go. I just want to show you up close. Look how pretty that wood is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's get down to business. Today's project's not going to be... Huh? Oh, he says it's a good paddle too. It's all too big. <laughs> but you didn't hear me say that. Okay, um, let's see. So my idea, I had a couple ideas. Um, put the spoon in the fork like this with this in the middle but I actually I don't like that so I'm not even going to consider it anymore and for some reason it really bothers me the forks and the spoons oh split the okay my husband's trying to and do this is what he's other saying. Way. Oh, other way? No, that's upside down. Oh, okay, this is what the husband says. What do you guys think? Okay, that's the first choice. And the second choice, I was going to do something like this. So what do you guys think? First choice or second choice? Yeah, you can. Trust me, it's cute. And for some reason, I can't see my comments. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, Barb likes the first choice. And I think Diane likes the first choice. Oh, looks like the husband's winning. He says that was my idea. It might have been. <laughs> I don't know. I don't 
don't remember what ideas I come up with. I lost my comments, so I want to make sure I can see you guys talking to me. So I'm just trying to find them back here. They both like the first choice. Okay, you both like the first choice. Okay. All right, as you're hopping on, if you're just joining us, please say hi in the comments and tell me where you're from. So what did we do? We did like this? Okay. So I don't see any overlap. And I was just saying, so the transfer came with the spoon and the fork like this, but I don't know, is it just me or does that bother you that the spoon is on the left? Is the spoon supposed to be on the left? It's supposed to be on the right, isn't it? Or do I have that backwards? Aren't the forks supposed to be on the left? I, I don't know why it bothers me, but it just, I feel much more natural with the spoon on the right and the fork on the left. So I'm changing the original way. Um, hi, Charlotte from Tennessee. How are you doing tonight? Okay. Now, I also have my fuzzing cloth here. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can just use a terry cloth towel, any kind of fabric. And the point is we're just putting a little fuzz on the back of the transfer, again, to protect it so it doesn't stick too much to your surface. And when you pull it up, you stretch your design. You don't want to do that. So we're, we, we waxed our board and fuzzed our transfer. Let's see, let me make sure that doesn't look straight to me. There we go. Okay. And we'll fuzz the spoon. You don't know that one, Barb? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like when you set a formal table, the fork's on the left. You don't know this, Mike? You don't know where a formal table setting is the fork? Isn't the Honestly, fork on the left? It's been a while. I'm pretty sure, because don't you eat, drink, eat, drink the soup first? Don't you eat the soup first, which is your spoon? Forks and knives go together, and the spoon. Oh, yeah, I could be completely wrong. Either way, it's going to look beautiful, right? <laughs> Most people are right when they say they grab their fork with the right. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I could totally have it backwards, but that's okay. All right, we have our transfers where we want, and today I'm just going to go very farmhousey, uh, basic, and use black velvet. I love the way that black looks on wood. It is so pretty, which, by the way, black is my favorite color. So it also matches that. Oh, and I also wanted to point out, I brought a spoon to the live. Because, like I just said, black is my favorite color. And I was kind of thinking, well, let's do the silverware in silver or gold or something like that. But look at what color my silverware is at home. I have black silverware because black's my favorite color. So we're doing black. The fork is on the left. Oh, thank you, Diane. <laughs> it was in my head that the fork belongs on the left hand side. I, I just felt it. Okay. Well, I don't think it has to do with a formal dinner. My husband's arguing with us. Um, it has to do with a formal dinner because you have, um, what are those called? Multiple? Multiple forks. No, you have just like four course. course. You have multiple courses. Yeah. yeah. And so the courses that you're eating is how your silverware is set up. And I think the soup comes first before the salad. Pretty sure. <laughs> oh, he's such a brat. Now he's asking about the appetizer. I don't think the appetizer comes before the soup. I think the soup is the first meal. Okay, so we placed our paste on our design. I squeegeed up <clears throat> the excess 
And now I'm just going to slowly pull it up. And what I do is I use my finger to fix any places that I missed. And I would like to point out to you guys, um, I forgot to mention this before. I don't know if you can tell. I'll show you on the spoon. Our design is has a purposeful distressed look. So you can see these green lines that are in the middle of the design. That gives it a distressed look. So look at this fork. Absolutely beautiful. This color fits perfect on this wood. I just didn't want you to think that the design didn't work because the fork is distressed. The whole design is distressed. Where's the salad fork? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have one that's smaller. <laughs> that would be cute though. <clears throat> Put the salad fork right next to it. Okay. Do you guys hear my dog um, snoring? <laughs> That's Cam. She likes to join us during lives, and she joins us by singing us a song with snores. Uh, she is a plot hound from West Virginia. Okay, she's a plot hound from West Virginia. And if you know much about hound dogs, they've got their big noses. And she's a Pocahontas plot. Um, she has a very nice line, uh, but with that amazing nose that she has, she snores like a train. Okay, we squeezed off our excess, and we've got our spoon. Looks beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at the way the black looks on the wood. It is so, so, so pretty. All right. Um, I have my nice quick tool, quick drawing tool, um, that just was released in February, and I love it because it's so quiet, and we're going to dry our design. We're not doing any layering, but since some of my transfer might rest on top of it, I want to make sure it's dry so the stickiness doesn't pull it up. Thank you, Diane. I also, he, he bought um, a couple pieces of wood to make a few of these for me. Um, another color that looks amazing on this wood, and I don't have it here. No, I already put it in the, I already put it away. Um, is the cobalt, is it cobalt blue? No, that's not what it's called. Cadet Blue, that's what it's called. Cadet Blue looks amazing on this colored wood. I know, me too. Definitely farmhouse style with the distressed look. I absolutely love it. Farmhouse decor, farmland designs, right? Uh, this is not an embossing tool, by the way. It doesn't get super hot. It's, it does get a little warm, but it's simply just air to dry our chalk. Okay, I think, I think we're good there. Now, another thing that I have learned is when I wax a board and then I use a blow dryer on it, um, sometimes because I've done this so quickly, um, I just like to buff it again in case any of the wax like melted or whatever from the heat. Typically when you wax wood, if you weren't doing this like on a Facebook Live, uh, you would let it sit and let the wood absorb the wax. <clears throat> um, but I don't think you guys wanna sit here with me all night while we're waiting on that, so. All right, do some more fuzzing. Now this, we were gonna do uh, like this. Okay, so I'm gonna center it, right? 
Like that? That is just not so drastic. What part's not so drastic? Bring it up a little. Okay, the other way this way. Oh, the other way. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. <laughs> he keeps saying a little more. Move it a little bit more. And just so that right there. Okay. There Oh my gosh, I think it's so funny that Cam snores so loud. I really think it's hilarious. Okay, all right, and we're I'm doing everything in black because I really wanted this to have that farmhouse look. And like I showed you, my, sil my dishes are black, my silverware is black, so this is gonna go great in the kitchen. And I bet, I'm not an epoxy person, but I think if you sealed this with the food grade epoxy, you can actually use it as a cutting board, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, I don't know anything about epoxy, but if you really wanted to use this as a regular cutting board. My husband's done some epoxy work. Um, Yeah, I don't know if you remember around Christmas time, he made the cradles. Um, we had a grandkid born the 9th of March, I believe, and he made a cradle for him. And he did some epoxy work on that. And I'm just, I've gotten ink all over me, so after I lift this, I want to make sure that I clean off my hands. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. That's absolutely gorgeous. Yum. Okay, not quite done yet, but I am done with my paste. Uh, so let me close that up before it dries out. And let's get this dry. Thank you, Diane. Also, I have started a VIP group. And inside the group, I do uh, less projects like this, but some. Um, I have tutorials, how to take care of your transfers, how to take care of your pace, all that kind of stuff. If you're not part of my VIP group yet, type VIP in the comments, and I'll send you an invite. I know, Diane, it does. I just, I was so excited when he brought this wood home the other day, because this is a ma mahogany wood, very, very pretty wood. It's a very sturdy, very strong, not called strong, it's hard. It's a very hard wood. Oh, he's not invited anymore. Um, actually, we love him because he does all the cleanup for me. Because I can't get my hands, I can't put my hands in water. <laughs> so... We need them for cleanup, right? So we won't kick them out now. Um, okay, so there we go. There is our design, but we're going to do a little bit more. Um, at the Dollar Tree, I saw some black buffalo plaid, I think that's called, mini plaid maybe, some farmhouse. Uh, let me hold that the right way. It has little pigs and cows and barns, and then just some uh, basic ribbon. Now, if you've watched me in the past, <laughs> yes, Barb, one of these days, <laughs> we will do that. Shh, we're not going to tell me. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> um, if you've watched my videos in the past, I'm not the, what you call the best bow maker. <laughs> 
So I'm not too bad doing a, um, I think they call it a messy bow. So I'll do like, I'll cut each one like six inches. And last time I did two of each color and it didn't look as full as I wanted. So I'm going to try three of each color this time. And let's see how, let's see how that goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't even know if I'm using the correct ribbon because this is, this isn't wired ribbon. And I think sometimes that the messy bows look better with some wired ribbon. But that's why we're going to try, um, we'll try three strips of each ribbon and see if that gives it a little bit more definition. Uh, let's see, and then this one. I just thought these ribbons were so cute. And of course, I like everything that I pay a dollar for. <clears throat> you guys see what I'm doing? Sometimes I forget to look. Okay. All right. So how I understand it. Oh, I bought myself one of those bow dabras or easy bow maker is what I got. And I haven't. I can't even figure out the instructions to try it and practice it. Okay. So one day I will work on that and see. So as I understand it, we just layer our fabric in different directions across our little zip tie. That's what I put there. Um, okay. So then we take our zip tie in the middle and we pull it tight. And I think we just need to make sure that everything folds under so that it looks, I think that has to do with the fact that the ribbon is one-sided, like the back isn't, doesn't have the ribbon design on it. And then we pull it really super tight, maybe. And put the ugly part of the zip tie in the back. And then we cut off that piece. And then we stretch. Like I said, I think this works really well with the, with the wired ribbon. But don't worry guys, one day I will make amazing bows. Practice makes perfect, right? So if you're a good bow maker, I think the color of these ribbons fit our design perfectly. I don't know. Anyways, well, that's kind of cute. Just needs to, I think I just need to work with it a little bit. And then I take my jute twine and tie it around. And the purpose of this is to hide the zip tie and to put it on the board. Let's see. Okay, so we have that. I don't know, I think the more I mess with it, the worse it gets. And then we just center this. And then 
tie it in the back. Maybe that's what I'll do this weekend is I'll practice with my easy bow maker. See what I can do. See what I can create. So maybe it's real easy like the name says, huh? Okay. So we got a little jute. And we'll just let this fall. So it doesn't even have to be a messy bow. It can just, just fall. There we go. Okay. Let's move all this aside. And voila. Not include or including my talking 30 minutes and we have a beautiful uh, piece of kitchen decor, a nice handmade um, cutting board that my husband made and it really took us no time at all to put this design on the board. Uh, there are a few options, like I said, I think you could seal it with an epoxy sealer and actually use it as your cutting board, uh, as long as it's food safe. Or um, after the live, uh, my husband will spray it with a Krylon type sealer and this design will become permanent once he sprays it with a sealer. And I could even, you know, hang it out maybe outside by a barbecue uh, setting where you have people over and with the sealer on it you won't have to worry about it being weathered. Thank you Barb. Thank you Diane. Thank you guys for watching. I will be live tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I hope to see you guys there. You guys have a great evening and stay safe and I can't say stay, war stay warm anymore because it's not really cold. But see you guys tomorrow. Bye.